another Sunday story. Jesus and the Nephites. You see a picture of Jesus there? And who is he holding? This is a story from the Book of Mormon after Jesus died. On the fourth day of the first month in the 30 and fourth year after the sign of Jesus' birth, a terrible storm arose in the land. Thunder shook the earth. Winds toppled trees. Houses fell to the ground. Lightning tipped, ripped the sky. The earth split open and trembled. The city of Zarahemla burned. The city of Mor Moroniha rose out of the earth to make a mountain. Other cities sank deep into the earth and were buried. Ooh, see the lightning and the storm. And this, there's a mountain that was just created out of it where a city used to be. This picture is very dark. For three hours, the storm raged. After the storm passed, great darkness covered the earth for three days. No sun shone, no moon, no stars. When people tried to light candles or start fires, they would not burn. Groans and cries of frightened and wounded people filled the darkness. Then suddenly, a voice spoke to the people. Woe, woe, woe unto this people. It is because of their iniquity that they are fallen. But behold, mine arm of mercy is extended towards you. Blessed are those who come unto me. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So there they are. You can see how dark it is. I hear the voice. After Jesus had spoken, silence filled the land. For many hours, the people were so astonished they could not cry or groan or speak. Then the voice came again, chastising them. That means to scold them or to get mad at them. This time, when the voice stopped, the people began again to cry and groan and howl. On the morning of the fourth day, the sun rose. The earth ceased to tremble. The tumultuous noises passed away. The weeping and wailing of the people did cease. Look at all the destruction. At the end of the 30 and fourth year, a great multitude of people were gathered in the land of Bountiful. They were talking about the changes that had come to the land. They were marveling about the sign that had been given when suddenly a still, small voice whispered from the heavens. The sound pierced their souls so that they trembled and their hearts burned within them but they could not understand the words. See, there they are all gathered at the temple. A second time they heard the voice, but still did not understand. The third time they understood. Behold, my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased, in whom I have glorified my name. Hear ye him. 